But let's focus in on another big headline then. And India is going to launch the green hydrogen policy. What are the positives? What are the negatives? Who stands to benefit? Let's break it down. My colleagues Anisha Jain and Sharad are joining in to tell us a little bit more about the expectations as well as the challenges to build a green hydrogen production. Well, the first phase of this green hydrogen initiative taken by the government will be announced today itself and it's a very important thing but the technology itself seems a bit complex and we need to understand actually Anisha what is the technology behind this this entire this green technology of hydrogen it is could you just explain us that well on paper it's fairly simple it's the production of hydrogen as a fuel and that is something that is done using an electrolyzer and that is called green hydrogen for you now the components used are fairly simple we just need water electricity and an electrolyzer and the electricity if it is used and consumed on a renewable basis it's called green energy and green hydrogen now it's one of the cleanest form of fuel because there is no carbon emission at any stage and even in terms of byproduct it is only oxygen or water so there is no carbon emission and that makes it the cleanest fuel well that is a very simple way of understanding this or this technical was actually very different but there must be some challenges right anisha if you could point out some challenges oh well yes that's the million dollar question right in terms of what are the key challenges and why are we not able to harness this particular energy on a large scale now the first reason obviously is the high cost of production currently if you look at it charat 1 kg of hydrogen fuel costs anywhere between 5 to 6 dollars making it unviable to be used on a commercial basis now conglomerates like adani and reliance have talked about bringing the cost of hydrogen down to 1 to 2 dollar per kg but it's still a bit far away secondly the problem is of storage and transmission now hydrogen by itself is a highly flammable will fuel uh, so to in order to transmit it or store it you need to cool it down to 252 degrees celsius of negative to be able to store it or even transmit it and you can store it as ammonia but then the reconversion is very expensive making it again unviable the third problem is that currently there are no economies of scale because the demand is very limited and the production capacities are low and lastly it's about technology now while europe and america have invested heavily in terms of building up these technologies india has lagged behind it a tad bit but having said that sharad there are a lot of corporates who have taken big and small strides into building up this hydrogen energy as a viable space right yes correct and i think the bigger names is something which you would like to focus on firstly of course it's reliance itself if you see the announcement itself coming in almost 75000 crore has been uh, earmarked for almost re uh, renewable energy taking for the next 3 years itself and also they have set up a plant electrolyzer plant in the jamnagar plant hmm. so it makes it very unique especially even the adani group is especially on focus especially the white right. energy coming in from the adani enterprises apart from this ntpc is also in focus they have also planned to actually increase there are uh, 9 gigawatt uh, plant actually mm. coming in for the green hydrogen so this makes it a very unique proposition for the bigger names True. but even the smaller names are also there but i would like to point out gail they themselves have actually come out with a new tender for an electrolyzer so this is a very important technology which you had actually mentioned right. and apart from this ioc is also also setting up almost 160000 barrel per day kind of a capacity coming in and lnt how can we forget that the mm. capital goods manufacturer over here also they are planning to go into much more goods apart from the stocks which have gone through there are chemical stocks also which are in focus okay. of course there is like a direct investment happening there is stocks like nijan chemicals and even gujarat chlorochemicals the stocks have also been rising because of that capex commitments going more than 2500 crore for that stock itself and if you see there are potential other hydrogen players as well the smaller mm. names in the chemical space you have your megmani fine chem you have chemplus sunmar and even national peroxide itself these are the green hydrogen sources basically so they can be diverted basically and if you see there are mnc parent companies also going for technology so the indian counterparts actually haven't started the r&d but the parents have started it of course you can take the example of bsf india then anisha there is inosis tyrolution and even linde india going ahead and lastly there are some companies which use hydrogen as the fuel as a by product so you can take hmm. companies such as arthi industries sure. deepak nitrates and these stocks itself would be in focus and lastly apart from that the capital goods stocks is something which i would like to point out and sure. you have thermax you have cummins you have bosch and lastly there is a surprise pick of kpit tech which oh. is actually handling a research center on the ev cells sure. so this kind of sums up the entire gamut of stocks you know which could be you know impacting this hydrogen theme Okay so that was all about what high green hydrogen is what are the key companies and challenges let's toss it back to Avan to take it forward with the market action now